Hello, and welcome back to Inquisitor Martyr. Last time, we went to the homeworld of the Storm Watchers and found it under attack by the Void Rippers because the Void Rippers realized they weren't alone anymore. And now we have to help the Storm Watchers that are still on the planet to hold off all of the Void Rippers and their corn forces. And this right now will take us to a void port. As we have predicted, the Void Ripper scum has launched a global invasion. We have called in several Imperial Guard regiments from nearby planets to gain time until our brothers return. While we are securing the central towers, we need you to purge the entrance to the void port. They have dug among the ancient machines. I always love these missions. I think this whole, like, hey, we're gonna spawn some minions to just go attack feel, it's really cool. And I wish more games would actually do it. Because, especially in a game like this, it makes it feel like you're in a far grander scale fight than you really are. Target acquired. Ah, oh, I can almost one-shot him with the sniper. I'm sinking a lot of points into the aim shot ability right now. It's gonna be that, and then I'm probably gonna go back to single target or criticals on my tree. Just because the last thing is like, hey, for every kill you get with a crit, you deal increased damage for a few seconds. And that's kind of a waste. I think, just because if I'm shredding a bunch of trash guys, I'm only getting a couple seconds of you know, big damage ups, and then I'm not anymore, and then I have to rely on a bunch of crits shredding a bunch of trash again, and it's a very relational point. Everybody here? No. Everybody here? Yeah. Gotta go this way. With my legion of Imperial Guardsmen. The Emperor, protect! The void ship transporting the Crimson Wanderer is now on orbit. Ooh, looks like we'll be getting to use the Crimson Wanderer soon. Oh, nice. Stopped him before he could use his little skull blast. Now we have this position, which doesn't do much for me, but whatever. Target locked. Target 
charts of the data surfs show discrepancies in the signals of the local Vox stations. Deduction. The traitors have utilized these towers, and they are calling down orbital strikes. We'll go this way. I wish they would kind of do another bit for um, for like Nurgle, because you look at these guys and how cool they are and their neat effects, and then you look at Flag Marines and there's nothing unique about them. I'm just sitting here thinking, man, we could have had some cool effects. But we don't get any of that. And like I've so far, I wish we would get Zinch and like Thousand Suns. I wish we'd get Slaneshi demons and stuff just to round out all the factions. Then we can start throwing in Necrons or Tau and I think it'd be interesting. And I don't know many people who really complain about having more enemy types. Though recently I did have an update for this that added Crimson Void Crusades. So now we have, I think, five tiers of Void Crusade. And they're like, oh, it's the way it was worded is it sound like it was the last tier they're adding and almost came off like they're done with the game. Which would really suck, I hope it's just they're done with the season. Or they're just done expanding the Void Crusade mechanic, because... I mean, they've kinda already done all you can. Once you add so many difficulties, you're kinda finished, you know. At a certain point, it's up to players to just use the Emperor's Tarot, or Uther's Tarot to add your own difficulty. Oh cool, I'm trapped by all my friendly guardsmen. I was just thinking, this would be kind of a cool mechanic in an RTS. You know, you have certain maps that are... or have a random modifier that would pop up that would be a, like Warp Storm or something like this where after enough bloodshed, demons start spawning and they're hostile to everyone. I mean, it would definitely mess with the game in terms of how players fight, but I think it'd be a very interesting change of pace. Acquired. And I'll admit, I'm always a fan of adding new mechanics or modifiers to an art where you've done everything, and all you can do is intentionally gimp yourself more and more. 
And it's just, it, it, it takes that to make a encounter interesting again. I feel like you've already kind of beat the game. So something like new enemies or a third faction kind of deal that just disrupts everything would be interesting to deal with. Suddenly your normal one-on-one, -on -one, two two-on-two kind of deal changes. Take it like a man, Guardsman! And like I said before, the whole... I don't even know if it was this episode. Yeah, it was. Talking about, like, the crit builds. As you saw when I just chain-nuked all these Chaos Warhounds, and when I was shooting them, I wasn't getting a lot of crits. The only way I'm really benefiting from it, as you can see, is the occasional sniper shot. And that's not guaranteed, so I'm not... As much as it's like, oh, you can get up to 100% critical damage, or 100% damage boost. That's also very situational. I mean, there, two kills. Didn't get a crit on either. I would have benefited 0%. Unless I can stack my critical chance to be every shot is a guaranteed crit. But then I feel like that... That kind of build is very risky because you can break a game like that. This is where you select the best warriors from the population, then mold them into storm matches, right? Correct. And they still don't know anything about our secrets. We thought the secrets would protect them. We were wrong. Or like the Vox Towers, I think those would be cool. In an RTS, a neutral, capturable structure. That, you know, you can get blown up, but then you can capture it and rebuild it. And it just lets you... It's essentially just an artillery piece. It calls in, you know, artillery within a certain radius around it. You know, you find it on Imperial Guard worlds or traitor-controlled worlds. Adds a little bit of flavor for map making. Adds an interesting mechanic to once again deal with. And I love when games add kind of third-party structures to capture. It makes every encounter a little different. And then it it helps kind of break up your standard just annihilation. Because then you're not just sitting here slamming two armies into each other's base. There's little side areas you have to contend with and decide if you really want to push that position or not. Oh, 
Plus, one thing I missed from RTS games is environmental hazards. You notice they don't really do those anymore? Those added so much to games and can make a fight really interesting. Yeah, it sucked when you left your guy on something that just kills him, but, you know, be competent. Not that difficult. Okay, sometimes it's difficult, let's be honest. Wish I wasn't just hitting terrain, but I don't really want to push up further. Unless... Actually, those Shadow Clones, for how little they lasted, the Holograms, they did a pretty good job drawing fire. Kept both Trap Flamers off me, kept everybody kind of clumped up. Kind of annoying when the game, I guess I get staggered and I lose my charge on my aim shot. That's always rough, like I need that shot. Uh, let's take out the trap rocket first. The bolter is not that big a deal. I could probably, yeah, take it out pretty fast with the grav pistols. Oh, yeah. Didn't expect that jumping in. Uh, you two. And let's just see if we can hammer them down with the grav pistols, maybe. I'm just hoping they deal... They deal enough damage. I mean, they're pretty good at what they're doing, just... It doesn't help when I'm also getting caught up on shooting... random... Chaos Space Marines. Ooh, little stutter there. A lot of stuff going on all at once. Target in sight. We have secured the central towers, and you have cleaned the port. I'd call it adequate progress. However, the Void Rippers are closing the net around the Hive. In other words, they have mobilized an entire army against us. We are moving out to face hordes upon hordes of traitors, demons, and heretical filth. What a glorious way to sacrifice our lives. May I suggest another solution? Are you mocking me, Inquisitor? By no means, Grandmaster. I have a free blade knight at my service, and the Crimson Warrior is ready to clear the path through the waves of these monstrosities. Alright, so that is all for now. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit the like button. It helps out the channel a lot. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.